Welcome viewers. In this video we are going to look at design procedure for transmission line tower foundation. This is a type 3 Agar or Kaisan foundation. So far we had discussed about two different types, other two types. That is first one is a pad and chimney. Second one is a raft foundation. This is a third one. And we are going to look more about other types also like steel grillage pile foundation and rock hangers in upcoming videos so on this screen you can see in the top there are four pictures the first picture is a symbol which we are showing for agar or kaisen foundation for our video purpose in the second video second picture is about a well open well uh, or kaisen open kaisen foundation uh, simulation in uh, the program while doing the analysis the third picture is about uh, the box type Kaisan. So the Kaisan is having a two type one is a open well Kaisan, another one is a boxed type. So the third picture is a boxed type of Kaisan, which these two Kaisans shall be used in underwater foundation where the deep foundation is required. So these two are this type of uh, Agar or Kaisan foundation is mainly we can call it as a deep foundation category. So on the fourth picture is a construction picture of uh, Agar and Kaisan foundation which is having a, a pedestal over the well foundation or Kaisan foundation having a tie beams also. So now let's look into the detail about the design procedure. So every design procedure used to have a flow chart like this. Foundation design must have input, analysis, design of elements and finally the detailing. Anyway, the detailing part we are not going to look in this video or further videos. Maybe in future if you have some more information record on detailing, we will discuss later. So coming to the input. Uh, so these are the input record for the design of agar or kaisan foundation for transmission line tower foundation so first one is a soil parameter in that uh, soil parameters we need to get the information such as a soil type to bore depth so according to that bore depth what are the soils is is encountered that we need to get from the geotechnical investigation report below the uh, river beds average uh, spt or n value we need to get from the soil report angle of internal friction so these are the three major uh, information we need to get from the soil parameter or soil geotechnical investigation report second kind of input is uh, hydraulic data in that we need five input one is high flood level second one is river level third one is river bed level four and fifth are maximum flood discharge and maximum stream velocity so river bank level is always at higher so the river bank level will be in higher level followed by high flood level and finally the river bed is the lowest level in any of the hydraulic data so with that because this high flood level river bed level river bank level is required mainly for the kaisan depth finalization or the to design the depth of kaisan the third category of input is a tower leg geometry which is having which we record the tower slope true length factors and the final one is the foundation load so it is common like pad and chimney type of foundation design so we need normal conditions and broken wire conditions we need these four type of loads one is compression which is a down thrust another one is a tension which is uplift longitudinal side thrust and transverse side thrust so these are the four major foundation loads we required from the structure also the four major category of input so next we can look into that 
analysis part analysis part is uh, having a two main components one is foundation geometry another one is a foundation stability so here the foundation geometry means we need to decide caisson dimensions caisson dimension is nothing but the height of the well or the height of the caisson this will depends upon the cover depth and the grip length or the flood level and the second caisson dimensions is a diameter of well third one is a staining thickness and the fourth one is outrigger dimensions outrigger outrigger dimensions means which is above the well foundations so these are the three categories of foundation geometry we need to consider so let we look into that geometry how it should be so on the picture on the screen you can see a picture which is uh, having a, a magenta color is a one is a well foundation above that the green color is a outrigger beams over that there is a pedestal and which is used to hold the entire transmission line tower so these are the various level uh, river bank level is a highest level in the transmission line tower foundation of uh, river if it is going to cast on the river second one is uh, the second lower level is a cover level which will decide the uh, grip length so there are uh, various uh, formulas and equations to finalize to find this uh, grip length and uh, cover length like lacy's equations and we will be seeing more about in uh, upcoming videos about uh, how to finalize the depth and the diameter and the diameter is also depends upon the surface loadings and from the load from the structural loads so now coming to the foundation stability uh, these are the four foundation check we need to do uh, one is uplift check another one is compression check lateral load check is the third one finally outrigger stability check we need to perform coming to the design of elements so there are four major elements we need to design in case of well design with outrigger means so first one is a design of stub second one is a design of pedestal third one is a design of outrigger frames or beams and final one is well or caisson design so design of stub is remain same as per the pedestal as per the bird and chimney design which we had seen in our first type of video so there it should have these kind of methods like check for embedment of the stub combined tension and shear check combined compression and shear check bold design cleat angle design compressive stress in concrete for the stub design we already uh, have another video uh, how to do the design of stub in aac that is american standard which already available in the in our video uh, playlist you can find the link for that video in our uh, description next coming to the design of pedestal so design of pedestal also already we had seen in pad and chimney type that is type 1 foundation design procedure and the detailed calculation explanation so those also those video links also available in the description you can find from there design of pedestal should have this four main components like compression with bending tension with bending slenderness check and all this compression uh, with bending and uh, tension with bending we need to calculate the reinforcement so this is a uh, the procedure to design uh, of a, a pedestal so next coming to the design of outrigger beams or outrigger frames so this outrigger 
beams is a cantilever uh, projection from the well which is to be hold the transmission line tower above it so for that we need to check uh, bending movement and uh, fix the reinforcement requirement for the bending movement second one this uh, shear reinforcement we need to design according to the shear force act on the outrigger beams third one is a deflection check in this we need to check according to the cross sectional area and the applied loads how much the deflection is there and we need to check whether the deflection is limited to the actual requirement of the standard and the technical specifications and the final one is a development length which we need to calculate from the equations which is given in the standards so how long the anchoring of the reinforcement to be done to the connection part so that is called the development length so that we need to calculate for the design of outriggers and finally design of open caisson or well foundation we need to do it for that these are the four major components we need to design one is well staining design well staining is a wall thickness we need to find out the wall thickness how much it is required to carry the load second one is a well cap design so after installing this well into the deep water the water which is inside the well to be dewatered or drained out and after that it should be filled with engineering soil or any compacted soil with that over that the well cap design to be done well cap to be placed over that as a cast in situ so that well cap design to be performed under this design of caisson or well next one is deflection due to shrinkage as it is laid into that underwater structure there will be a cause of deflection due to shrinkage so that deflection due to shrinkage we need to check in the design of caisson or well and finally the well curb design we need to do it well curb is a bottom of the well which is to be inserted in, into the subsoil of the river bed so during that installation there may be a possible of breaking of the well curb so the well curb should be designed in order to resist the possible load due to agar so these are all the design uh, procedure which is required for the foundation type agar or kaisan foundation for transmission line tower thank you look description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for more updates